I'm currently disconnected. This is Let's Make Stuff. Let's make a desk cannon. Oh, that's broken. For this build, you will need a cardboard tube, some glue, some tape, a balloon, and a cardboard or plastic bowl. First things first, you're going to want to figure out how long you want your cannon to be. Just remember to add a couple of inches because you're going to need a little bit extra. Okay, so grab your EVA foam and stick it inside the bowl and trace around the end so you know how long it has to be. Once you've got that done, you can trim off any excess and then stick it back together at one end. And what you're going to do is align the other end so it makes a nice cannon shape. When you're happy with the shape that you make, grab a pencil and just mark a line down the middle where you're going to cut that off. Remembering also to mark the piece underneath so that the two pieces line up, making a nice straight line. Next, grab your bowl and your tube, and what you're going to do is just draw a circle around the outside and cut that out with a box cutter or a pair of scissors, and then slide that onto the end of the tube, making sure that you've got a little bit left over because we're going to need that later on. Once you're happy with how it looks, you can just glue it in place with some hot glue. Next, you're going to grab some newspaper and some tape and just make a rough cannon shape on the inside. This is going to support the EVA foam on the outside when it's glued in place. Okay, now you need to grab some duct tape. I'm just going to put that around the bottom of the bowl and that's going to hold your EVA foam in place while you glue that center piece down. Just remember that when you're gluing the uh, cannon together, start from the top, do a little bit at a time and work your way down. Now once that's dried, it's time to work on the bottom part and you're just going to gradually peel away a bit of duct tape and glue it in some hot glue. Take your time, but if you do make any mistakes, remember you can correct them with a box cutter. Now the end of the cannon was looking a bit rough, so I grabbed a roll of tape and used it to trace a nice even line around the end of the cannon, and then grabbed a box cutter to cut it off, make a nice flat line. After that, it was time to cut off the end piece, just an easy round circle, and stuck that in and glued it in place. Once you've done that, it's time to give it a coat of paint. I ended up putting two coats of paint on this and after that I also gave it a coat of gloss which made it nice and shiny. Now for the stand I just grabbed a box, drew a large half circle on one side and a small half circle on the other and then cut that piece out. Once I was happy with the shape I just coated it in some silver paint and then decorated it with a marker making some rivets and some lines to make it look you know kind of funky. Okay so now you're going to grab your balloon or inflatable punching ball, you're going to stretch that out and just stick it on the end there, making sure you've got a nice little pocket of balloon. Once you're happy with that, it's time to tape it on. And lastly, you're going to need some ammunition. Now I tried out a few things, I tried out some candy, tried out some paintballs, but in the end the best thing was just rolling up some newspaper and wrapping it in some tape. Now to fire your cannon, all you need to do is grab yourself a cannonball or a projectile, chuck it down the barrel, make sure it's hit nice and snug, the end of the balloon, hold it down firmly, pull it back, and let it rip. Not bad. It's nice to have a target at the end. Here's another couple of those. I also used a few other projectiles if you're interested in that. I've got a video that I'll put up. Just let me know in the comments below. So there you have it, your very own desk can. Impress your friends, vanquish your enemies, terrify your neighbours, but always use responsibly. Always use responsibly. I.e. don't shoot someone in the face with it because it really, really hurts and you'll probably get in trouble. Now, I just recently hit 10,000 subscribers and I'd like to thank you one and all for your support, for your likes, your comments and suggestions. I love it. Thank you so much. I cannot express how much I appreciate all the support I've been given on this channel. It's great. But I'd also like to thank some people in particular. First of all, Disco Kitchen. Thank you for making my, my banner. Stu, dude, that's really nice of you to do that. Chef Buck, I'd like to thank you for commenting on every single one of my videos. Dude, you're awesome. Thank you so much, man. And I'd also like to thank Cakes by Chopper, who encouraged me to make this channel even when it was just a concept, and it's encouraged me ever since. Thank you, mate. I can't express how much that means to me. I really appreciate it, dude. So thank you one and all for your support, and I look forward to more suggestions down below, and more builds in the future, and uh, I guess I'll catch you next time. See you later.